I know this isn't a hiking channel, rather a documentation of my life and thoughts, but in recent months, hiking has become an exciting part of my life. Every time I get to walking in the wilderness by myself, I discover thoughts that seem too valuable to throw away or hold on to alone. So it brings us here. On this day, I was sad. In the depths of what I didn't know at the time was the trough of my emotional cycle for the month. Nothing pleased me. Everything felt pointless. I'd had a bad day and convinced myself it was turning into a bad life. I went about my morning without the will to even speak to the camera I'd turned on, deciding instead to break my channel's pattern and opt for a voiceover. Depression. Drudgery. Darkness. I pondered all the things I wasn't creating. All the young black girls I wasn't helping and inspiring with my work. Of every friend, partner, and connection I'd passed up by being too quiet or looking too stern. I worried I'd never feel satisfied. Every happiness I'd ever experienced would end moments later and I'd constantly be chasing that feeling rather than actually being a part of it. I wasn't helping the world. I wasn't helping my community. I wasn't helping myself. I was worthless. I recognize in retrospect that I was being a bit dramatic, but not every day of my life is perfect, and I frankly don't like pretending that it is. So after finishing my day's tasks and chores, I took to the hills. Those of you who watched my New Year's party video will know that I made everyone a reflection journal, and despite all the plans and intentions in the world, I had yet to fill mine out. I had hoped that those questions and gorgeous views could bring the introspection and the clarity I needed to brighten my mood. Who are you? It was the first question in my book. Who are you? What do you do? What do you care about? And do you want to keep being that person? I am an emotional, unsure, and ever-changing creature. I have confidence, conviction, and positivity within me, a mixture of trials and lessons. I don't always know, but that's okay, and I'm working on finding out who I am. I think, in the coming year, I want to be someone who radiates even more positivity and looks on myself and my daily life fondly. I am happy. I want to be happier. It's who I am, but it's also who I felt like in that moment. I lacked clarity on myself. I didn't know where I wanted to go or what I wanted to do or why I wanted to be there. Sometimes I think of all of these video ideas about life being aimless or having too many choices and not knowing which one to pick or feeling like if I can do anything, then why do anything? Sometimes life feels boundless, and sometimes it feels endless. I understood in my writing that although I couldn't give myself the best and most beautiful answer, I had an answer, and that that was okay. I went on to ask myself my biggest accomplishment, the time I felt worse, and how I could feel better. With the landscape of my new city all around me, and the fresh air of outside flowing. I spoke of gratefulness, of slowing down my life goals, my inner power, and of hope. I wrote until I felt I had to speak. Sometimes when I'm experiencing this particular flavor of PMS, it really is just a mini depressive episode really like it's not as extreme it doesn't have as much time to develop because it's only a week or two long but and it's also so up and down so in and out like it's crazy how right now I'm looking at this and I'm just like because I can see the mountain ranges I'm pretty sure I'm seeing Mount Baldy but I don't know I can see them and one of my goals for before I leave California is to climb a mountain. That's why I be doing all this hiking. And so being able to see them and just look out and be like, someday I'm gonna be up there. 
and I might look out and see all the lower places, all the lower hikes that I did, all the cities I walked through, everywhere that I've been, but I'm gonna be up. I'm gonna be up, up there. I'm gonna be on top of the world, as they say. It's just really getting to me, like, my life is like I've been here 23 years and when you're in it that takes so much time to pass but it's really just starting and there's really so much more for me and so much more that I can do and usually when Americans say that we mean that in a career sense but I detached myself from my career so much this last year there's just so much more I can do in every sense in the sense of climbing a mountain in the sense of I bought ingredients and I picked them up today. I didn't film that, but I picked up ingredients today for pasta. I'm gonna be making it an Italian pasta dish that I've never tried before. And I envision one day cooking for my family and not just for myself and having people to share with and being able to say, yeah, I know how to make Italian food. There's so much, see a bird just flew by. There's so much more for me to see. So many more smells for me to smell. So many more places for me to go. So many more places for me to go. I hear planes everywhere in California because they have like 27 airports. I see one now. So many places, so much. There's just so much. Like life is so fresh and vibrant. And I'm like literally just getting into being able to live it how I want to and being a little more grown and it's like, I just get so down when I'm on my period, when I'm PMSing, when I'm having a depressive moment. I get so down. I also appreciate that it's not chronic for me and that it hasn't been in a long time and that I'm able to come out of it and see the other side because the way your brain is set up when you're feeling depressed, that shit is just not like it's not like you're sad, it's not negativity, like it's just simply not possible to to think optimistically and normally like it's just not gonna happen but being able to come out of that sometimes and have these moments where I can just look at rolling hills I can just look at the rolling hills I just climbed to the top of and the mountain I'm about to climb to the top of and the sun that is about to set and I'm about to get trapped in the dark but I don't want to leave Don't worry about me crying, bro. Of course I'm crying, like... <laughs> but just to be able to see everything. And see positivity and have hope for myself in it. It's a really amazing thing. And I hope more people are able to find that for themselves. Not just depressed people, but just everybody in general. To just be able to find joy in the moments they live in and be able to see more joy in the moments that are going to come even if you don't know exactly what they are but just to know someday I'm going to be doing something that's going to have me stop and look at my life and be like wow I'm really here I'm really living and after that brief respite I began my race down the hill against the sun's set, retracing all my steps with a lighter heart and mind. I pondered how I've come to feel a sense of sonder with myself lately. I'm really here, I said. I'm really living. It's hard for me to conceptualize that a year ago, I was on the other side of this country, talking to different people, working a different job, with different goals, hobbies, interests, friends, and plans. And now I'm here. I'm really real on this rock in space, and there's nothing stopping me from getting up and moving on, or accomplishing everything I dream of, or taking a hike on a day when I'm sad. We as humans are made to feel so small, and we are. Our insignificance makes us significant, as we can do anything and wouldn't matter either way. And yet we are also made to feel big when we get to the tops of hills and are closer to the sky than we were a moment ago. 
it all seems possible. The last thing I wrote in my journal for the day was, you got this, with a cheesy exclamation mark. I'm not sure what I've got, and don't have a clear direction for where life will take me. I know it's hard to know what I'm supposed to do. Every day is a new chance, and a new challenge. And there will also be more days, probably in a month, when I won't feel so hopeful or positive. But to myself, and all of you watching who are maybe not in the best place today, just remember, as I said to myself, you've got this. <laughs>